My name is Laura Schwartz, President of Waterfront Partnership. I'm excited to be here today and thanks everybody for coming out on this hot afternoon. I don't have to tell all of you that Fells Point is the most historic, the most unique, authentic, and quirky neighborhood in Baltimore. And Waterfront Partnership is absolutely thrilled to be asked to come and help work with Fells Point Main Street to keep your public spaces and public areas clean and bright, enabling the neighborhood to shine in all its beauty. One of the unique aspects of Fells Point is that so many of the shops are independently owned by small entrepreneurs, small merchants. And it's well known that people who go into business for themselves often do so because they're independent minded. So it makes it all the more remarkable that Fells Point merchants and business people have come together and pooled their resources, their money out of their cash registers, out of their pockets to help fund the cleaning and greening and safety of Fells Point. We've worked for Fells Point Main worked with Fells Point Main Street for about a year to bring this partnership together. Many of the people that we've worked with are up on this stage. When Mike Barazzini became president of the Fells Point Main Street just seems like a month ago, maybe it was two months ago, it happened. Our agreement came together. And we're delighted to be here today kicking off our work. You can see some of the results just from our first hour. We started on one side of the plaza so you could compare it to the other side. Please welcome the chair or president, excuse me, of Fells Point Main Street, Mike Marizidi, owner of One-Eyed Mike's, a delicious restaurant if you haven't been, been there, and a great leader for Fells Point. Mike? It feels great. <laughs> Thanks everybody for coming out today. Thank you, Lori. Welcome, Madam Mayor, Councilman Kraft, distinguished business leaders. What a great day. We've been working on this program, excuse me, for well over a year. A lot of people don't even know what Fells Point Main Street is or does. And slowly but surely, we're getting the word out that it's an organization that's for the community. It's for the businesses, it's for the residents, and we're committed to the preservation of our neighborhood. We, we, we have that three-prong approach, and we, we have to keep that in sight at all times. This kickoff wouldn't have been possible without the efforts of a few individuals that have been working countless hours to pull this together. And I'm talking for a year. Um, Mr. Ron Furman from uh, Max's, who spearheaded the idea of combining uh, cleaning, greening, and safety along with promotion of Fells Point as a neighborhood, not just for individual businesses, but as a neighborhood, as a destination. He put in so much work for this program that finally, Ron, uh, you're going to see some results from all your hard work, and we appreciate it. The other people involved were our organizational committee with Fells Point Main Street, headed up with President, former President Juliet Richter, Vice President Tricia Ellis, Treasurer Fred Burke, and our current Executive Director, Joy Giordano. So we're all sitting up here. I would really like to give them a quick round of applause for all the hours of work they put in, please. When the neighborhood was polled about a year and a half ago, we talked to businesses, we talked to residents, and we said, what does Fells Point need? And there were three things. We want it to be cleaner, we want it to be greener, and we want it to be safer. Joining hands with Waterfront Partnership, all three of those things are going to be addressed. It's going to start out slowly, and it's going to grow. The footprint will grow as the neighborhood grows, and you're going to see the neighborhood, a, a, a definite change in a daily basis. They don't just sweep up papers and cigarette butts. They remove graffiti. They remove stickers. They, they report hazardous things on the road, you know, a street light, a street lamp out. I mean, they do so many more things, and they have direct contact with the city. It's great. It's so exciting right now for Fells Point. I'm, I'm about ready to bust, and, and I, I had this conversation with many of you already. You know, this time next year, you're going to be standing in a public square that's completely renovated. This whole square will be done this time next year. 
we start in October. It's a beautiful plan. It's going to be it's going to be completely redone. Union Wharf to our east will be occupied. We have the entire Broadway corridor, including the Broadway markets, which will all be near completion a year from now. Over 350 new residences moving into Fells Point. It's just going to continue to become more and more vibrant, better for the businesses, better for the residents, more activities, more things for people to do. You've got to be excited about it. One thing with this program is we realize that we are one of the first neighborhoods in the city that's come up with private financing to start this, this program with the Waterfront Partnership. I mean, the, these people are, commi are committing thousands, tens of thousands of dollars to make this happen. You know, it was back in the 70s when this neighborhood got the word that they were going to be putting a highway through here, and it was going to be gone. Fells Point, Federal Hill, we would have been gone. But it was the resilience of the neighborhood back then, as it is now, that is going to make it a better place. We're going to keep this place going. We're going to get it to grow. So they banded together. They formed the Preservation Society. They started the Fellows Point Festival now in its 47th year, one of Baltimore's oldest legacy events, to raise funds to keep our neighborhood strong and vibrant. Fells Point Main Street's happy to announce that we are partnering with the Preservation Society for the management of the festival for the next two years. We're, we're looking to bring you a whole new experience with the festival. It's going to be exciting. It's going to make money. And all of that money that it makes goes right back into Fells Point. Our resilience continues. I want to thank you all for coming out today. I know it's hot as heck. I want you to be as excited as I am about what's going on here in Fells Point. I want you to know that the city made very... <laughs> And on very short notice, the mayor and, and Councilman Kraft made efforts to get here today because it's that important to them as well. And I really appreciate that. So it's my uh, pleasure right now to uh, introduce someone who has been a huge supporter of Fells Point for the last 11 or 12 years, has advocated for cleaning up Fells Point, has thrown in his dime and many dimes to assist us and in getting this partnership up and running. Uh, he is the chairman of the Waterfront Partnership and the CEO and president of Brown Advisory, Mr. Michael Hankin. Good afternoon. It's good to be here. And Mike and Ron and lots of others who uh, have been here, been an integral part of Fells Point for a long, long time. It's, it's been great to get to know you and work with you on this. And we're the, uh, the uh, newcomers to this area, relatively. We've been down as a business tenant uh, over at uh, Bond Street Wharf for just 11 years now. And we moved here, when we moved here, we had 65 employees. And I'll tell you where we are today in, in a second. But I'll tell you that we loved it from the moment we got, it, we got here. We loved the restaurants. We loved the stores. I think our folks especially loved the bars. The, uh, but there were some challenges back then, and you see some evidence of it today still. Some garbage in the streets, some graffiti. Um, you needed somebody to help you get around and find your way if you want to find a different type of restaurant, a guide, for example. And what was really cool, and I think one of the neatest things about this city is, is, is we got together and we said, we live here, let's do something about it and working with the city, who, which has been a tremendous partner. The mayor then as president of the city council and the mayor now as mayor has worked with us to get going. And about eight years ago, we formed the Waterfront Partnership. And the initial district was from Bond Street Wharf around the city to Rusty Scupper. And we chose just to reach out to business owners, ask you all to support it, and try to get our own effort off the ground. And the city con committed a significant sum also. Today, that, that effort has about a $2.5 million budget, uh, some coming from the city. A uh, good percentage, probably 60 70%, comes from business owners. And if you walk from Bond Street Wharf around to the Rusty Scarp Scupper, I really challenge you to find a piece of trash, to find graffiti, what you will find is a guide helping you figure out where you want to go. Where's the science center? Where's the aquarium? Where's the best place to get Italian food? Well, now's the time to turn our effort 
eastward. And we always hope what is happening today would happen, is that you all would raise your hands and say, we want to be part of it. And it's, it's been a really, really cool effort. Hats off to Ron and to Mike and others for getting it going. As a citizen of this area, Brown Advisory is going to kick in an initial contribution. And hopefully that together with other contributions would, will get it going starting today. And I really think you'll see a difference. And what I think you'll see is that businesses that have been tilting westward, like ours, we're now 330 employees up from, from 85 or so, will we'll return to this area, which will be really, really neat and beneficial to everybody. I'll, as exciting, excited as I am, and, and I agree with, with Mike, it's a, re, it's a really exciting day. I just challenge everybody. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got to get more folks to contribute, and Brown will be there matching some of those additional contributions. So congrats on the effort today, and I look forward to celebrating success in the future. Thank you very, very much. We're so pleased that Mayor Rawlings Blake was able to join us today. It shows her support for Fells Point and for small businesses and growth of the city. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake. Thank you very much, and good afternoon, everyone. I know it's hot. I get it. So, um, Lori, thank you very much for the introduction. I'm glad to be here. It is a pleasure to be here, thank God, in the sun, even though I would take it without the heat and humidity, to, make, uh, to celebrate and to recognize that we are working very hard to make our waterfront cleaner, more attractive, and more welcoming. There are a lot of people who deserve recognition for their hard work. And first, I do want to thank Lori Schwartz and Mike Henkin, who, in his remarks, told you that he started off with 65, and he didn't tell you now he's over 300 employees that are down at Union Wharf. I think we can clap for that. Did I get that right? But it's a testament to his commitment to Baltimore and what it means uh, when you have a business partner who gets that you can be in the city, but it means more to be of the city. And I really appreciate, um, Mike, all that you do. Uh, and your belief, and your firm belief that Baltimore's best days are ahead of it. So thank you for everything. Uh, these been, they've been a great partner. The Waterfront Partner's been a great partner in, um, in the Fells Point area. And I want to thank One-Eyed Mike, Mike, and Ron Furman of Maxis uh, for, uh, Maxis on Broadway for their leadership in this effort. You know, I'm uh, very proud of the role that both of you have played as uh, not just business owners, but business leaders uh, in making this happen. And last but not least, I want to thank Fells Point Main Street for their help to make this happen as well. The spirited labor of these folks, of the residents and many others uh, who have helped are the reasons why we are here today and the reason why they were able to raise over $150,000 for this program. So I want to thank all of those people who worked on that. It's a big accomplishment. So a safe and clean uh, neighborhood is, is a basic element that will help us to retain residents and to attract new residents, achieving our goal of growing Baltimore by 10,000 families over the next 10 years. Union Wharf, Marketplace at Fells Point, and Fells Point Station are, are just a few of the new apartment buildings being built in the city, and they're being built right here. They are going to house new residents who will be moving to Baltimore in part because of a safer Fells Point with an alluring waterfront experience. This neighborhood demonstrates the perfect synergy of the old and the new. Just last year, we cut the ribbon on a newly renovated Broadway market, the backbone of Fells Point, where kids get their first taste of Baltimore shrimp salad and residents form long-lasting bonds with business owners. In Baltimore, we know that to rebuild, you have to build on a firm and solid foundation. And Fells Point is a rock. The increased vibrancy of this neighborhood has helped us bridge the gaps all along the waterfront promenade. The interconnectedness of the neighborhoods has spurred growth and increased tourism, all of which help us to maintain the buoyancy of our prized local businesses. And uh, Mike, Hank, and I remarked as we were sitting here, is when you look around Fells Point, you don't see San Francisco, you don't see Boston, you don't see Atlanta, you see Baltimore. 
uh, unique businesses that really speak to the character of our city, and I'm, I'm very, very proud of that. Uh, and Fells Point residents should be proud that they have such a, a dedicated um, residents. They're, they're, they're such dedicated advocates as well as residents. And now, in addition to such advocates, there will be waterfront partnership teams scattered throughout the community wearing the most identifiable outfits, neon green, so we cannot miss them all day today. They're painting, cleaning, and making improvements throughout the neighborhood. So keep an eye out. Uh, not that you'll be able to miss them, uh, for the waterfront partnership team. Some will be on foot, some will be on bikes, some will be on segways, all in one single effort to create the best Fells Point experience possible. Again, thank you everyone who played a part in this initiative, and thank you for inviting me to speak with you today. Thank you so much, Mayor, for your remarks and for your support. I just want to recognize a couple of folks before we have one last um, presentation today. Thank Bill Cunningham for helping us pull the event together today. Thank you. And I'm sure many of you already recognize the uniforms, but I want to especially point out Eric Souza, our operations manager, who worked with Phillips Point Main Street to pull this together, and all of our guides and clean team members in their bright uniforms. You'll be seeing a lot of them and a lot of us in Phillips Point. Last, I want to introduce Ron Furman of Max's Tap House right here. Many of you know Max's Inside and Out for a special presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. We got it all now, I can tell you that. I'm excited. This is really great. It took a lot of time and energy from these people back here. They're the ones that are owed the credit. But while we got this stage, while we got Madam Mayor here, I want to thank somebody else. Come on up here, Ron. I think everybody out there knows this guy. He'll make it, don't worry. When I think of Ron Starr, Ron's, Ron's finally retiring. When I think of Ron Starr, I picture that painting by Norman Rockwell with a young boy at the ice cream counter. I've known Ron since I came down here in Fells Point 27 years ago. Almost 20 years ago, we worked on a taste of Fells Point to raise money for Mike Arminger's family who died in the light of line of duty, who this very square is named after. I thought you were old then, Ron. Ron's a beat cop. He comes from a different era of policing. Today, the expectations of police are different. The demands are not the same. Today, everything moves at a different pace. Ron's from an era where the beat cop knew everybody in the neighborhood, naughty or nice. It was about relationships. Many spent years in the same district. They spent mu as much time on those streets as they did in their own neighborhood. It was a time where just the presence of guys like Ron, Ron kept crime down. Today, times have changed, and it <clears throat> it's a different time that needs different tactics. Ron, I could have gotten you, or we could have gotten you, a fancy plaque to hang on your wall. But we decide on something I think you'd appreciate more. Now, I know you never ate anything when you were down here on the street. You were too busy. So I have a pile here of gift certificates from area restaurants in Fells Point. This way, we'll still see you from time to time when you and Buttons aren't fishing. And speaking of fishing, that's my wife. That's the real boss at Max's. That's a gift Thank certificate. You. That's a gift Thank certificate. You. Mike's got to one-up us. Ron, here's a fishing rod that Tony from Tockerman said, Tockerman said that uh, you'll catch the biggest fish in the bay, guaranteed. Thanks for 38 years, buddy. Yeah, I never turned, I never turned down a microphone. Thank you very much, Ron, Your Honor, Jim Kraft. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I was the original beat cop for 38 years. I did my entire tour of duty field training in Southeast District. I have known no other home but this home here. Um, I came here originally when we had a watermelon boat down dock next to Conley's restaurant, and that was basically what the Inner Harbor was. The Inner Harbor has grown to a world-renowned harbor area and people look at us for advice on what they should do to make their city grow. There was a time where the uh, circus had come to town 
and for whatever reasons they could not use the uh, Civic Center downtown. So they had to go to a local park to put their tents up and all their other equipment. I had worked the midnight shift over there and there were lions and tigers and bears. It was a wonderful thing working for the city. It has truly been a labor of love serving the citizens of Baltimore and especially the men and women of Southeast District. Uh, I cannot thank anybody enough for letting me do that. Why this particular city here was not Camelot, it was my Camelot. Once again, thank you so much for letting me serve you. Thank you so much and congratulations. The, the, I can say this, the one thing about Fells, one thing I love about Fells Point is the wonderful distractions and that's also a problem sometimes because as I was giving my remarks, I, as hot as it is, I kept looking around at all the bars that I like to go to occasionally for um, Coca-Cola or lemonade or iced tea and thinking how nice it would be if, um, you know, Mike or Ron had brought refreshments to this press conference. And I totally forgot uh, to bring up someone who I depend on uh, every day as a partner in city government, uh, Councilman Jim Kraft. Uh, he is a relentless advocate, uh, and sometimes I wish not as relentless advocate for uh, his constituents, and he is a big supporter of the work of the, the Waterfront Partnership, and I would like uh, to present for remarks Councilman Jim Kraft. Thank you, Madam Mayor. And um, I'd like to thank the mayor because um, a lot of these plans, as many of you know who live and work and play here, I have been online for a long time. And they don't happen unless the person in leadership makes them happen. Lots of times they get on a piece of paper and they look real pretty and we show them in meetings and everybody says, oh, that's great. And we say, someday, someday we're going to have a new market. Someday we're going to have a new square. Someday we are going to be partners with a waterfront partnership. And ladies and gentlemen, that day has come. And much of it, much of it has been due to our partnership with our mayor, Stephanie Rawlings Blake. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I see so many people out here, and you've, you've heard all the thank yous for up here, but I see so many people out here that have done so much to make this day happen. Um, I do want to point out one person, Dave Holmes. Wave your hand, David. Ten years ago, almost over ten years ago, I met with Dave Holmes and Dan Winter up the street, and they showed me a plan for building the marketplace at Fells Point. And we sat back and said, just think, if we could redo the markets, if we could take these old empty buildings and we could build up new, we could keep the old facades and keep the historic character of Fells Point and bring more people down here to live, more people down here to work, more people down here to play. And people said, is that ever going to happen? Ladies and gentlemen, have you come down Broadway? Have you seen what that? David, thank you. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. I'm going to let you get out of the heat. You've heard all the thank yous. All I can say is this is Southeast Baltimore, from Harbor East to Canton Crossing. Madam Mayor, you want 10,000 new households? Yes. We're going to try to get all 10,000 of them for you right down here in Southeast Baltimore. How about that, folks? We're going to bring them down here. All you have to do is come from one end of Boston Street to the other. People are moving here, people want to live here, and it's because of commitments of folks such as the Fells Point Main Street, our folks, Ronnie, Mike, our community association, the residents, FIPCO, the Preservation Society, and all of you who come down here every day. Thank you all so much. Thanks very much, Jim. We're gonna let everybody get out of here. I know it's hot. I'm very hot. You don't ever see me in a jacket. <laughs> it's hiding the sweat. Um, but thanks again. I just want to point out the, the people that have contributed already to this program to get these guys out here today and get started. A, a very special thank you. Um, you. You don't know how much it means. 
And I think the rest of you who haven't yet committed, but you've been on the fence, you're going to see a big difference in a very short amount of time. And the one piece I didn't tell you about earlier, I've already had phone calls since The Sun published a small article this morning about this program, and I've had five separate residents who asked, have called or stopped by my restaurant today and asked, how can I contribute to this program? That's what I mean about the relationship building that we're doing right now between the businesses and the residents. So keep them coming. We're going to take whoever wants to help, and everybody's going to get that medallion. I want to see them in every window in the neighborhood. Thank you very much for coming out today. You guys have a great day.